Hey guys, for this video, I wanted to do something a little bit different and go into where you could see some Christmas lights in Edmonton right now. I'm going to cover four different sort of events slash festivals where you can go check out some beautiful light displays in Edmonton and, and the surrounding area in one case. Obviously, besides going and, and driving by houses where people happen to have nice lights, these are actual events that you can go to. So some of them are, are free and a couple of them are paid. So I thought I'd go into those. Uh, if you find this interesting, uh, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. It helps, helps me grow the channel. And uh, most of the time we're talking about real estate, but I also like to do other cool videos on stuff going on in Edmonton, learning about different parts of Edmonton. And of course, sometimes I'll also make videos just going into something that I find kind of interesting. So uh, the first one that I wanted to talk to you guys about it's actually called Glow Edmonton. And this is an event that I have not been to. It looks like it's been here at least once or twice before. I could be totally wrong. Maybe it's been here for a long time. And it takes place between November 24th and January 2nd, 2022. So it's been going on since November 24th, uh, but it's still going on till basically the beginning of the year. And uh, it, it's known as Christmas Glow, the, the holiday festival of lights. And this is located at the Edmonton Expo Center. This is just their website here. If you wanted to find out more about them, you can go to glowyeg.ca. This website, it's probably out of the four events I was gonna show you today, they've probably got the best website with the most information. So uh, you can experience a family-friendly indoor holiday festival as you enjoy towering light gardens, glowing activities, our artisan market, delicious food, and daily live entertainment. It looks like they've got some Santa sleigh adventure stuff, which might be kind of cool, uh, especially if you got kids, I would imagine. Uh, the light garden, I would say, is probably one of the main draws. That's where they've got all their, their light displays. Uh, they say it's an immersive experience. They got a little video here on their site. Uh, looks like the sleigh adventure is part of that. They got their light tunnel, which looks kind of cool and some hanging lights, hanging picture frames. So if you wanted to strike a pose or get some good Instagram worthy pictures, looks like they've got some good stuff for taking pictures or here's another one like selfie walls and murals, uh, LED swings, that sounds cool. It looks like they actually have a pretty cool uh, food and drink sort of thing. They've got like six different food vendors here so you can get some Mexican or some poutine. And I know they also have some special events. So you'd want to look at their calendar and some of that's related to kids stuff. But if you look in December on their website here, you can actually see what their schedule is for some of the different special events. And I think a lot of them are for kids, but um, if you wanted to check out something in particular, you might want to take a look at their special event. Looks like they got a lot of onstage entertainment. This, these are some of their, probably their special events. Of course, you could visit Santa, they got a bouncy farm, characters, the swings, the selfie walls, a glow commotive. <laughs> so it looks like they kind of got some cool stuff here that you could find out more, kind of checking out their, their website. And then um, their market, I think that's what's kind of cool. So they, they're claiming that their Merry Makers Market is where you can get one of a kind items from 65 local vendors. So that's kind of cool might be worth checking out you haven't if you haven't finished all of your christmas shopping yet so they've got i think a lot of this is made by hand so if you look they've got basically their vendor page here so if that was something that interested you you could go to their website and check out what some of these different vendors have to offer so looks like it could be a cool place to get some nice handmade gifts as well i also noticed that this is one of the ones that of course isn't free uh, they've got different flex passes so they've got um, if you go during the week, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, it's $32.99. On the weekend, it's a little bit more, $35.99. And then they've got different general pricing that uh, is not a flex pass. Obviously cheaper for seniors and children. And then they've got family passes as well. So looks like they've got some cool stuff. And, then, and there's also a, a New Year's Eve event that you can check out too. So that's the Glow Edmonton, uh, the Christmas Glow Holiday Festival of Lights. Uh, the second one I wanted to talk to you guys about is called the Magic of Lights, which is at the Rad Torque Raceway. Uh, I haven't been to this one either, but I might, I might check it out. But it's at the raceway and it's basically put on by Canadian Tire. Uh, you can check out their page on this at the castrolraceway.com slash magic of lights general info. <laughs> so it's just a page on their site. But basically they've got a whole bunch of light displays that you can drive through. Um, this is a drive-through type of event, 
and they sell flex passes for 30 bucks, which I think can be used any day uh, that it's open. So it's already open and open in Nove on November 19th and it goes till January 8th. If you don't want to wait in line, you can also get their dash pass for an extra 20 bucks. So if you just get the regular pass, which is good for a car or vehicle that holds up to eight people, it's 30 bucks. But if you wanted to basically skip the line or get into the express, express line of some sort, for 50 bucks, you can get the, you can add on the, the dash pass for, for a total of 50. So um, they've also got some photo passes, which is probably pictures with Santa. And they've got some instructions on their website. So it's a, it's a pretty straightforward event. Go check out some lights uh, from the, the comfort of your car. You know they're going to have lights there. So uh, that might be one that you want to check out too. The third one I wanted to talk about was Luminaria. And I haven't been to this one either, but this one I'm, I'm, I'm curious about checking it out and I'm probably pronouncing it wrong. I don't know if it's Luminaria or Luminaria, one or the other. They're calling it Winter Dreams this year and that's at the University of Alberta Botanic Garden. I've been to that garden before. It's really beautiful uh, during the summer and they are hosting it in a certain part. So it's in the Kiritomo Japanese Garden uh, where they've got a lot of interesting light displays. So it's not your typical Christmas light thing. Um, it's definitely a little bit different. You get to enjoy the Kiritomo Japanese Garden lit up with candlelight while capella singers spread the holiday spirit. Looks like they also have hot apple cider that you can enjoy while you check out ice sculptures and an area called Memory Lane. Uh, where you can also light up a candle to honor a loved one, or you can send a message of hope on the wish tree. So that sounds pretty cool. They've got some Jason Carter's work is there. They don't have a ton of information on their website, but there are tickets. So you, you can go to luminaria.ualberta.ca to check it out. There's a couple special events like uh, Northern Light Dining Experience that's sold out already. They've got on certain days, traditional Cree teachings of the drum. And then on certain days, they've also got uh, Pai Pai Chiao offering bannock uh, cooked over the fire. So that's kind of cool. And I probably pronounced the name wrong. And then also on the 16th, 17th and 18th, there's indigenous uh, dark sky storytelling. And on the 21st and 31st, there's the friends light up the dark nights. So that's something else they got going on. Uh, you can get tickets, I believe right on the website. Yeah, okay, you can reserve tickets. So you might have like a certain time slot that you get it for, but adults are 21 bucks, seniors 17, students 16, children three to 12 or 11, and children under two are free. If you're a Friends of the Garden members and you can get, uh, it's, it's cheaper, I guess, it's 16 bucks. They've also got a, a fax page, safety and what you can expect. So there's a whole bunch of questions and answers there you can check as well. And then last but not least is Candy Cane Lane. Um, not gonna lie, their website doesn't have much information on it, but it's, basically a community event that's been going on for I think 50 years now. Yeah, it's established in 1968. I've gone to this one multiple times over the years and you can either experience it by driving through the neighborhood where it's basically that neighborhood's known as Candy Cane Lane at this time of year. And so a lot of people put quite a bit of effort into doing their lights. So it's pretty cool. You can just drive through it, it's free or you can park somewhere and walk through it if you wanna take your time a little bit more. Sometimes it's a little bit backed up uh, but on their website here at yegcandycanelane.com, you can uh, find out a little bit more about their story. Uh, looks like they've got some Q&A here. They, it is free, but they do ask if you can donate to the Edmonton Food Bank. Um, that's kind of their, their ask. If like a, This is all free, but we'd like you to donate to the food bank. That's what they like to do. And then they've also got a bunch of partners here as well that I'm, I'm guessing are, are sponsors. They do have sleigh rides that I believe are all sold out. So. You're too late this year if you want to want one of those. Yeah, so that one's another cool one to check out. That's over on the West End, but you can check it out here on their website. That's four different places that you can go and check out lights uh, for the the rest of the, the year, the holiday season here at the end of December. Um, some of them are a little bit more Christmassy than others. Obviously, Candy Cane Lane is gonna be more Christmassy. The Glow one looks pretty Christmassy to me. And the Luminaria, that one doesn't look like it necessarily has a Christmas theme, but it would just be really cool to go check out what they've got on display. It's a little bit outside of Edmonton, of course, but uh, I'm thinking I'm probably gonna check out most of these this year. There's not a whole lot to do usually in December around Christmas time. And going and checking out some of the cool light displays are uh, some of the most interesting things that you can do to kind of break up the cold. So hope that was helpful for you guys and that you liked it and uh, we'll see you on the next video.